Okay, so we finished talking about um, uh, TPs, and again, TPs we said basically we disconnect the ventilator here and we just provide and leave the ET tube secured in place and provide uh, a TPs, uh, uh, an oxygen through the TPs. We said the main problem with this is that the patient is breathing through a small tube, which may add an extra work of breathing. We said this can be good in terms of that if the patient is tolerating the TPs, that means he's making you more comfortable that he's ready because he's breathing through a small tube or a straw. But sometimes it can be hard for the patient and you don't wanna say, hey, he's, the patient does not tolerate um, as a TPs, then he's not ready or she's not ready you want also to provide some help for them and that's what come pressure support ventilation as a way of weaning. Remember quickly go back to my video in pressure support ventilation but it's patient triggered only which is perfect. We, that means the patient will initiate his breath. That's the only thing that's the only trigger there. Pressure targeted and flow cycle. Pressure targeted that means if we so the ventilator is still connected to the ET tube and the only thing the ventilator will provide is the pressure support and we decide how much pressure support usually the higher the pressure support the easier to breathe for the patient because that will push the air through the tube and the less work of breathing we believe, or I mean, we've been using, let me say, plus five H centimeter, uh, centimeter H2O, that we feel it's adequate to push the air and overcome the resistance of the ET tube. Um, so we feel at that point, if the patient, um, everything looking good, um, with pressure support at using plus five centimeter H2O, then uh, again, we look at the other things of respiratory rate, uh, O2 sat, and um, how much tidal volume the patient is pulling, because uh, we can see all these on the ventilators as a subjective way to say, oh, he's, the patient is ready. Again, if the patient um, is still having a hard time, you can go up on this to 10 or 15. But to say the patient is ready for extubation has to be no more than five. Again, there are some exceptions, but the general rule is has to be no more than plus five. And actually, in some patients, we go to zero. And basically, bringing this to zero, that means the patient, as if you bring him back the TPS trial, as if it's TPS trial, the, the ventilator is not pushing any air during, uh, is not pushing or not providing any pressure during inspiration, it's just providing the oxygen. So as if it's TPS trial with using pressure support ventilation. I like to use the zero even, especially in pulmonary edema cases, because we feel if the patient is tolerating at zero, that means rebound pulmonary edema risk will be very little so mainly in pulmonary edema just to make sure once we remove this positive pressure ventilation the patient will not get a rebound pulmonary edema so that's how positive pressure ventilation can be used as a mode of as a way to wean uh, while the ET tube is still secured